David asks uh, for a comment on the recent vulnerability CVE 2018-17144. Um, and David says, it's hard to believe that such a critical bug could happen. What's the postmortem and learning we are getting from this incident? So, <clears throat> I, I haven't studied this in great detail at the moment, so I can only give you a, a very brief overview. But the bottom line is that a bug was discovered in Bitcoin Core. And in fact, this bug has been copied in other Bitcoin forks um, because a lot of the other forks use the same code base and, and even other coins. And um, what this bug is is it's a transaction validation bug that affects the consensus rules, and it allows miners specifically are the ones who can exploit this bug to create a transaction. Um, that that isn't properly validated and effectively has uh, an extra input, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the worst case scenario is that you could create uh, an amount of Bitcoin from nothing if this was exploited. It hasn't been exploited. Um, the bug was fixed before it was exploited, and um, it could also be used to create a denial of service attack against Bitcoin and cause uh, nodes to crash. So attacking the Bitcoin network. So David says it's hard to believe that such a critical bug could happen. Well, um, on the one hand, yes, uh, critical bugs like that, it's hard to believe it could happen because of all of the review that happens on the code and so many people running it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Not only that it happened, but that it went unnoticed for almost two years and affected a broad range of versions of Bitcoin Core and other cryptocurrencies. Um, from I believe zero fourteen to zero sixteen. Um, fortunately, it was discovered, and fortunately, it was discovered and responsibly disclosed, which means that it was disclosed to the developers in an encrypted message, so that it could not be exploited until it was fixed. And it was fixed. And uh, for that reason, you need to upgrade. If you're running a Bitcoin node, you need to upgrade to zero point sixteen point three which is the version that contains uh, that fix. So I upgraded my node the day that the notification came out, that there was a critical vulnerability that needed an upgrade. Um, many of the nodes have upgraded, some have not yet, and those are still vulnerable to being remotely uh, shut down, uh, essentially caused to crash uh, through a misformed transaction. Fortunately, none of the um, worst problems of this uh, vulnerability have been exploited. The bottom line is that the software that runs cryptocurrencies uh, in general is enormously complex. And consensus level code, where everyone has to run by the same rules across a distributed system, is the hardest form of software development that exists today. It's probably close to, or one of the hardest, it's probably close to um, you know, aerospace engineering and um, in terms of uh, Every tiny change to the code could have far-reaching effect. In this particular case, it was an optimization in order to improve the processing time uh, for blocks. And this optimization had an unfortunate side effect, uh, and uh, there was a, a, an error in the implementation, as far as I understand, that caused this bug to happen. Um, we will continue to see bugs. Software has bugs. There's no such thing as bug-free software. The the important thing is to look at um, how serious the bugs are, and this was a very serious bug. How quickly they're fixed, um, and whether they're exploited before they're fixed, and if they are exploited, what are the long term consequences uh, of these uh, bugs, and whether they have a lasting impact. But arguably, once again, we see that. The network is very resilient. Uh, blockchains are much more resilient than than we thought, and because of the dynamic nature of the system, because there's lots of independent operators running nodes, um, because there's lots of developers who are operating independently and reviewing code, bugs are found, bugs are fixed, and uh, systems are upgraded when things go wrong, uh, and the and the system continues to run. Um, it didn't kill Bitcoin; it made it stronger. And that's one of the aspects of Bitcoin that continues to surprise me, is how resilient it is. Mm -hmm.